I hate this screen. She's right in the uh, four has located a bomb. Uh, the reason I did not like the screen you just saw is because it means you are put into a game already in progress. That is almost always boring. However, in this case, it might not be all bad, since whoever's playing Ella here might actually be knowing what the hell they're doing, and they're playing defensive. And right now, I actually do like... The bomb diffuser has been successfully deployed. They have the cameras. I mean, Psycho in the chat doesn't really have any leg to stand on when it comes to... Nice All try, mate. Were eliminated. Mission failure. Doesn't really have a leg to stand on when he's complaining. Uh, seriously. These people are all dead. They don't really have have anything, uh, any argument when it comes to other people's playstyle. I'm just gonna put that out there. If you're dead, you have no, absolutely no, um, like to stand on to complain on other people. And this is part of what I dislike about the fact that the Rainbow Six Siege player base is growing. Usually that's a good thing, but then again we get these Counter-Strike players, we get these Call of Duty players, who for some ungodly reason have grown up with the idea that it's nice to be, uh, or rather that it's okay to be rude to people on the internet. And if we just could sort these people out, I think uh, the internet would be in a far better p position. Because I'm not gonna say that gaming made tox uh, toxic behavior on the inter internet okay, because that would not be true. But I would like to say that a large part of why there is a generation that has grown up to be very abusive towards other people on social media. It's because they have grown up with this culture being a part of gaming. So, I wasn't really going to have a lecture about why people are rude on the internet. You need to use your drone to locate a bomb. But my point would be that could people just please fucking stop being that. Caviera. Currently hiding out in library. About the worst, the worst thing, uh, example I know about this are people in Rainbow Six Siege who tell other people to be to be silent, that to not use the communication method. Thankfully, we don't seem to have any of that here in this game, and I'm very happy about that. Five seconds to go. Five oh, please tell me they're on the top. Oh, they're on the top floor. Sweet. The diffuser has been secured. You found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. You located a bomb. Okay, so a friendly fire on their side. And we're gonna climb the roof and we're gonna see what we can find up there. Sweeping for electronics. Sweeping for electronics. Yes. Oh. They're gonna steal all my kills if this continues. Tango down! Nades out! Well, I don't need... ...the sidearm anymore. In fact, using this would be... ...much more effective. I just don't know where the fuck the last guy went, but I think that might be Valkyrie who threw up a grenade, or rather a camera towards me. Because I have no idea how else Valkyrie have been spotted. There must be a camera somewhere up here. Oh, 
Oh, and I just realized I have the perfect way of finding that camera. No, it's not there. No! Where the fuck? Ah, oh, there it is. It's just me and Hacker Girl left now. The other guys are down. That's not a good thing, is it? It's Castle and Valkyrie left. Thank you, right to you. Top four last Can't go down. That callout was a bit too late. Let's see here. Tango down, Valkyrie. Top four eliminated. Friendly mission success. You're the last one completed. Not bad. We got three kills during that round with IQ, meaning that our potential IQ shift in main might actually be something we could do. But let's just pick Rook for this one, because it's how we do things after all. Alright, so we're loading, and... Down the back, so I can put down the fucking thing. Thank you. Bomb location compromised. Plan accordingly. I'm gonna do the hatches. I may have the highest armor level, but I'm not going to stay put just because of that. We'll see if the enemy prefers to do their thing of... Let's see here. Down to ten seconds. Target destroyed. Five seconds and counting. Bomb located by. And we're four. clear. We're just gonna hang out in the freezer. See if the enemy comes to us. Pick up the armor, people. Another team kill and a removal because of it. Also, people doesn't seem to like picking up the armor. There was a round that flew towards me. I don't know if they know I'm here or if they're just guessing. I can hear something. Most likely window. Yeah. If they're coming this way, they're mine. I do know that I think it was Capitao who just ran past me. But he's not in his death. Doesn't seem to be that way either. One Tango down, remaining. Capitao. Let's see if... So it was Capitao we got. Let's keep patrolling the second floor. Poor Capitao, he didn't envision someone would actually be behind him. I would like to know what a Meridian is, but I think it's some kind of mojo or health or... Okay, so basically that direction, sweet. 
Uh, well played. Eliminated. Mission successful. So it's IQ again for us then. I don't know why, but previously I I have preferred the 552 for a number of reasons to play with IQ, but for some reason as of late and especially on the test server. Can I have the diffuser? Uh, I don't think I have the diffuser. I don't know who has the diffuser. Who wants to? We need to locate a bomb. I don't even know who have the diffuser. So it's gonna be difficult. Okay, so middle floor this time around. Kitchen clear. Drone has located a bomb. If I were to play Rainbow Six Siege with four clones of myself, I have to wonder one thing, and that is, would we beat most of the enemies that currently evade us, or would we do worse? The reason I'm wondering that is because I think I would be a good team player with myself. And the funny part of that would be... Yeah. <laughs> Just broke this window. Let's see if we can find anything from that window. No, we can't. Sorry, that was a... Uh... Sorry. It was a mistake. I think I was fused. I think I'm taking fire. The diffuser is no longer in your position. Yeah. Tango down. Unknown. Valkyrie. I think that was Valkyrie or Ela. I can't really tell. Oh crap, it's not close enough. Oh wait, it was. Op four last operator standing. We're gonna do this. Last guy is invisible boy. So drones won't work. There he is. Tango down. Invisible boy. Eliminated. That was a good game. Oh, come on! I wasn't the MVP? Seriously? Six kills. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's mocking me or if he... Oh, it was... It was one point! It was one fucking point! It actually was one fucking point! <laughs> one point from MVP! And I played flawlessly with a six... Oh, versus a free free and I lost MVP by one point. Are you kidding me? You know what? <laughs> I'm done with this. I'm just gonna go into terrorist hunt and try some of the new operators that way. I'm, I'm just done with multiplayer. One fucking point from MVP when I played with a 6-0. How is this even possible? Let's go, Sophia. I think she is... I have to check this out. I'm gonna check this out, the next terrorist hunt thing. 
I'm actually gonna do that. Um, how does the mobile phone thing work in Terrorist Hunt? Are we calling all of the white masks or what are we doing? Oh, Sophia really brings the firepower to this game mode. Not strange with a AK, but hey. Here, bomber, bomber, bomber. Yeah, Sophia is the terrorist hunt master. And that is part of the problem I have with this operator. She's simply too powerful. Let's switch to single shot and see if she is equally powerful on it. Yeah. Sophia is really good at Terrorist Hunt. I mean, she could be the new Fuse of Terrorist Hunt. Fuse is a very skilled oh, bomber behind us. Tango down, keep it moving. We still need to extract the hostage, and I have no idea where the hostage might be. And extracting the hostage in this kind of game mode is usually the tricky part. Oh, hello. Concussion grenade. It's kind of nice to see the white masks react to the concussion grenade effect. But it's also kind of sour because the hostage is not here. They've they barricaded the entire place, but the hostage was not there. Okay, so let's go. Let's check server room. We haven't actually droned, so we don't know where the hostage might be. Okay, she must be top stairs then. She must be in one of the top rooms then. Not in the office direction, but in the other direction. Breach, breach, breach. Stand by, stand by. We're not gonna rush through the nitro cell. Especially since we right now ha are low on HP. Let's switch back to burst mode. We need the added firepower to take on the enemy. Ah, uh, crap. Nitro. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I may be strong in terrorist hunt, but this is, I guess, respawning odds, I might add. That's the, one of the problems with this game mode when it comes to hostage, is that if you don't know where the hostage is, the enemy is very happy at respawning, and you will fight incredulous odds just to find the hostage unless you scouted the location first. Uh, if you're gonna solo extract hostage, then you better do so by. Got eyes on the hostage. We need to secure the hostage. Yeah, we're gonna refill our supplies first. It's not gonna refill our HP though. The, the best way is always to scout the hostage first. Hostage secured. Extract the hostage. Okay, so it's that way then. Ah, crap. Let's see how withstand works in terrorist hunt. Not at all. Withstand in terrorist hunt is really not all that good. But now we're gonna satisfy my curiosity. We're gonna pick the other operator. 
And we gotta see how... We're gonna vote for retry. And then we're gonna pick... How do you pronounce that? I don't know how to pronounce it. Claymore. Uh, the SMG-12. I haven't actually equipped that, have I? No, I haven't. So let's not. Let's just keep it the way it is. Uh, I just wish I had the time to just give her an ACOG. I never actually confirmed the loadout, so yeah, at least we got the sight for the M14. But now, I don't know what's gonna happen here, how her character, what her character does in Terrorist Hunt. I can't hear any phones, so... The white masks are obviously better at this entire defender thing than most of the defenders. Because we might... Uh, it might be the case that we are dialing their phones, but they might actually not have brought their phones. I mean, it's not like I... Oh, crap. There are many white masks here. I like her weapon. Let's place that on mine. Bombers are underway. And they walk straight into that. Straight into the clay mob. Nice. The funny thing is, they don't drop cameras either, so her skill is wasted. There's nothing in Terrorist Hunt that warrants picking this operator. Unless you really like her guns. And to be fair, her guns are really sweet, but. I don't know if they compensate for the fact that she doesn't bring anything to the table when it comes to... Terrorist hunt. Stay put I think we need to check downstairs. We have lots of ammunition, so we should be good to go on that. Garage clear. This place is clear. But if we checked that room, we checked... Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Please, no. Don't tell me. Ah, crap, we walked straight into... We just walked straight into a nitro cell. And while it didn't kill us... Uh, we still took horrible damage from it. Hostage secured. We've got the hostage. On, Get them to go. the extraction point. Where is... yeah. Hostiles approaching. Keep the hostage safe. Leg it. You know, had someone told me that I would go farther uh, in this game mode as the South Korean operator rather than Sophia, I'm not sure I would have believed them. And that knowledge of her weapon notwithstanding. I mean, I know, I know she has a good submachine gun, but damn. Oh, I jinxed that. I very much jinxed that, but I still 
did a lot better. Had I not been hit by that nitro cell, I would have made it. And failure! Well, we can probably... We can probably assume that... Um, um, invisible boy uh, doesn't have any good redeeming qualities in PvE either. Maybe that's why they actually are introducing other operators for this upcoming PvE mode, Operation Outbreak. And by God, Ubisoft, if you are bringing zombies into my Rainbow Six, we are gonna have words. Words, tweets, and Reddit posts.